I think to be a clinical researcher, it's really more about patients that keep me up at night. What could we have done differently? I devoted most of my work to take care of patients and be able to offer them therapies that could improve their quality of life. Offering them participation in clinical trials, offering them this sense of hope. Judy Aberg is one of the world's leading experts on the treatment of infectious disease. This was never more evident in the leadership she has provided in fighting COVID-19. I came to Mount Sinai in 2014 and essentially established five clinical research sites that were co-located within the HIV clinics. And ultimately those HIV clinics became the Institute of Advanced Medicine. And it's really from there that subsequently we used the research units for the infrastructure to form the COVID clinical trials units. Hands down, without a doubt, the work that I've seen her do in the past year since the advent of COVID here in New York City, all of 2020, it's beyond compare. When I look back and say, what did you achieve? One is my in involvement in treatment guidelines for COVID. We weren't just treating the virus, we needed to treat this inflammation that was associated with the virus. And so we did have to be very creative on repurposing drugs that we are already using for other types of inflammatory diseases. When I look back and say, what did you achieve? We were actually able to get clinical trials open within the first week. One of the greatest successes that we've had was Judy and her team to actually recruit 280 participants for the Pfizer vaccine trial. I'm not sure if everyone realizes, but how incredibly hard it is to really have such high percentages of people of African-American and Latinx descent actually enroll in such a short period of time is nothing short of amazing. What I'm actually most proud of is those that I mentored. One of my strongest first impressions of working with Judy was actually immediately as I started working with her as a fellow, her sitting me down and actually being very interested in what I saw as my career path and what actually made my heart beat faster. She really was a key mentor in sort of allowing me opportunities to actually get a degree in public health. I love her to death, it's true. I mean, how can you not? She actually helped me develop and create a clinic for women who were pregnant with HIV or just found out that they were HIV positive. I was deeply honored to receive the Jacoby Medallion Award along with other phenomenally gifted individuals that are receiving this award. I would like to thank my colleagues in my division, Dean Charney and David Rich, for their just never ending support. And of course, I do want to thank my two daughters because without them, there would be nothing. Thank you. When you look at Mount Sinai as a whole, it was just incredible for anybody to have that experience that we had during COVID. Everybody just pulled together and everyone's job was critically important to the mission to save lives. Mount Sinai has really helped me develop my research career even further than I would have imagined.